where the Prime Minister along with uh, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath is set to lay the foundation stone of the International Cricket Stadium there in Varanasi, his constituency. These absolutely uh, defining visuals coming in from Varanasi, Sachin Tendulkar also on stage with the Prime Minister and Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath present there. Ravi Shastri among uh, many other uh, cricketers uh, are expected to be there. Of course, his international stadium uh, is also uh, amid uh, the infrastructural push uh, that the BJP is uh, aiming for in Uttar Pradesh. In fact, this international stadium is built at a staggering cost of uh, over 300 crore rupees and it will be um, you know, having a capacity of uh, 30,000 uh, people. And the design of the international cricket stadium will be depicting the essence of Kashi is what the press statement actually reads. Alok Pandey is with us. Uh, on the phone line. So, Alok, uh, you know, this infrastructural push uh, that, you know, the BJP is going for, of course, in Uttar Pradesh is something uh, that's been very evident, particularly in the past couple of months. Um, and the Prime Minister also expected to hold multiple public rallies and it is his parliamentary constituency. So, the political messaging cannot be ignored. So, you see, the infrastructure push in Banaras has always been there. He's been the MP from there now for a considerable amount of time. Uh, many of his uh, schemes uh, or many of the schemes that the government launched, including Swachh Bharat, if you remember, many years ago, uh, were all launched from uh, Varanasi. So, yes, uh, the focus and the infrastructure push is there for more reasons than one, primarily because he's the Prime Minister and that his constituency is uh, Varanasi. Uh, and also, of course, like you point out, the 2024 elections are due, so perhaps the frequency of the Prime Minister's visit to Uttar Pradesh, particularly to places like Varanasi and perhaps to Lucknow, to Ayodhya, they are likely to increase in the next some time. Uh, what the Prime Minister is doing today is that he is laying the foundation stone of a cricket stadium that will be built at a cost of about 450 crore rupees. Uh, in a release, the government has said that this will help the city develop modern world-class sports infrastructure uh, and that the architectural design of the stadium is inspired by Lord Shiva. That's what the release of the government says. Uh, beyond that, like you said, he's also be, he'll also be addressing a public rally. Uh, the ceremony that the Prime Minister will grace is also expected to be attended by many cricketers. Some of them have already arrived in Varanasi. We saw, saw shots of them coming through. Uh, so this is what is happening. The larger story, of course, remains uh, of politics and the fact that the Prime Minister, like I said, is the MP from there. And that, again, like I said, at the risk of repeating myself, he's going to be there in UP for longer periods of time or from on multiple occasions as the 2024 Lok Sabha elections approach. And coming back to the stadium, Alok, as you also pointed out, uh, the architecture the architecture is something that uh, you know, the government is really talking about, given the fact that you know the the uh, you know it will be representing the essence of Kashi is what uh, the government is saying, and uh, you know the, the the spectator area will be designed like uh, you know it will be crescent shaped, it will be designed like a damru and all of those things. Uh, but coming back to the point of how it will also generate jobs, and that's really a key focus when it comes to Uttar Pradesh. You know, unemployment is all always talked about when we speak of UP. So, you know, this, this stadium is also going to generate jobs as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned. Well, any construction activity does generate jobs. Uh, so will this stadium. Uh, I think the larger story, again, see, it's important to look at it in the larger context also. Uh, yes, the stadium being constructed is going to uh, generate jobs, but is that the main aim of why the stadium is being built in a place like Varanasi? Like you said, you know, there are many things that press leaders have said, including what the design of the stadium will be, how it is going to be inspired by Lord Seva, etc. So, there's much publicity that's happening. Uh, that is also because uh, Varanasi, like we have discussed, and like everyone knows, is the constituency of the Prime Minister. But I think the larger issue of un unemployment uh, does remain, and that really cannot be mitigated by the construction of one stadium. Uh, employment or unemployment, I guess the UP government will say that we have great employment figures. The opposition will say that, no, that's not correct. There have been some research in the past that does suggest that the unemployment rate in Uttar Pradesh is high. The government has always countered that to say that no, uh, these uh, researches uh, do not tell the whole picture that many, many multiple government jobs have been handed out in the, term, in the last term time. Uh, so I think the issue of jobs is a little separate because those jobs are, uh, you know, more technical jobs, so to say. Uh, this also is an employment generator, but I think the government is looking at it beyond that in terms of messaging, particularly the political and symbolic messaging of the Prime Minister doing this in Banaras. Uh, closer right. uh, as we get closer to the 2024 election.